Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to set up multi-monitors in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now first things first, uh, if you're working with multi-monitors, you got to kind of think about it sort of structurally as to am I going to stretch out my main monitor or am I going to break off one of the monitors and render everything again. Now what we're hoping is in a little bit that they'll actually be able to take those monitors and put custom content on it, but uh, we're going to have to wait on that so far. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first things first, we have ourselves in a lovely Cessna 152. We're here at Ellington Airport. Not going to do any flying today. Well, we'll do about 10 seconds worth. How's that sound? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the escape key. I'm going to come down to general options. And we're going to go all the way down where it says experimental. Um, when you pop this one, you're going to see a thing that says add new render window. Uh, one thing I'm going to warn you about this is when you create a new render window, you're going to have to render everything again on that window. So um, let's go ahead and pop that button. And what it's done is it's created an extra window for me to actually take a look at here. So you can see everything that I have here minus this. These two windows are actually basically separate versions of Flight Sim, if you want to think about it. But they're all driven the same exact way. As a matter of fact, um, if you look really carefully, you can see the socket still moving because this world is still going. I've, um, I have my controls connected, which I don't, unfortunately, because of the way that this is set up. I can actually wiggle my controls around too. So now how do we go ahead and set up a multi-monitor setup? The first thing is if you have two monitors, let's say they're right next to each other, like you have a monitor over here, is you can now take that window. And what you're going to do is you can now offset the position of this particular window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down, make it kind of ugly here. You can make a little tiny things. But what you're going to notice is here it says lateral rotation offset. You can now take that and rotate it. So let's say I want to simulate looking kind of to the rightish a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'll set it to, well, I'll do about 30 degrees again. We don't have to be perfect here. We just need to be close. And now what you'll notice is that that whole window is now tilted to the right a little bit. So now if I go apply and save, go back, head back to the flight sim again, you can now see side by side that the two <laughs> simulator windows are like this. So now if I wanted to, I could take my main window, I can kind of leave this as the center, and now I can use this, if I put this over on the monitor to the right, I can go ahead and slap that over there as well. Uh, that's one of the methods that you can use. Uh, the other method which you can actually use, I'm actually going to close this out real quick, is we can take our main monitor here, and we can actually put it in a window and then stretch it all the way across so that it fits both of the monitors monitors kind of side by side. Now it's worth noting that this is still kind of an experimental feature, so they're probably going to be adjusting in the future. Also note, if you close one of those windows, it's not really gone. It's just uh, another way to kind of think about it is it, it's, it's out there. It's uh, definitely out there, but it isn't gone gone. And notice also you can actually add more windows to it if you want to. You can actually hit this button and it creates another one. So you can actually get a little chaotic uh, real fast with these things. If uh, that's what your end goal kind of a thing is. You can see I got this one. Let's add another one. Oh boy. Uh, you can see now I've got this window one. Let's go ahead and get window two. Window two is a full size. I probably didn't need this one. I'll go ahead and do a little setup on this one real quick here. So again, you can drag that onto your left monitor. And then we can come over to a window two here and we can do a lateral rotation offset of let's say minus 30 degrees, just like that. Go ahead and open everybody up. Close that. Ooh, apply and save, that's fine. Go ahead back to the main game. And let's go see how incredibly ridiculous this looks. Ta-da! So now what I've essentially done is I've added side view mirrors to the actual plane itself. Speaking of side view mirrors, there's nothing stopping you from setting these particular resolutions or rotation angles so that they're all the way around so you can actually look out the left and right side of your aircraft constantly. So for example, if you're doing approach and you know you're always going to be looking out your left window, you can come over here and set this to 90 degrees and actually be able to kind of look out it in that sort of a sense. So let's go ahead and uh, open up those two windows real quick. And you can see exactly what this looks like in option. Now, it's uh, worth noting now that, you know, I've got a pretty powerful computer and I've got a pretty powerful graphics card kind of driving everything right now. But you probably observe the frame rate hit is uh, very, very real here. And I can also, I uh, can hear my uh, fans on my video card. It's working pretty hard. So even though this gives us this capability at the resolution that I'm currently running, it's probably going to slow things down for you a little bit and uh, probably hurt your performance. But if you're looking for that kind of uh, triple monitor sort of experience or dual monitor, monitor. Unfortunately, mine are stacked on top of each other, so I don't know why I'd want to look at the ceiling, but I could do that if I wanted to. Uh, you definitely can use this new feature. What we're hoping to see is a little later on where each one of these windows is dynamic. So for example, I could come in here and I could program this to be, let's say, a different tool or a different screen or something along those lines. Like if I want to zoom in on my FMS and use this as my FMS view, while everything over here is my regular view, but that's going to be a little bit later on. Other than that, enjoy.